safi kabisa bana mambo vipi na tumai kwamba mnaendelea salama ujambo na karibu niweze kuwapasha yale ambayo yameweza kujiri kutokea taifa la Kenya happy weekends by the way natumai kwamba mahali ambapo mlipo mvua ya El Nino inaendelea kunyesha hapa nilipo mvua inanyesha kunyesha ya El Nino kuna mambo ambayo yanaendelea hapa nchini kama wewe si mfuatilizi wa mambo hautaweza kuyaelewa na ndio maana niko hapa kuweza kukufafanulia Taifa la Kenya limeweza kupewa security warning kwamba wende pakaweza kushuhudiwa na mashambulizi ya majambazi na warning hii inakuja saa chache peke yake baada ya ndege ya, ya Kenya ya Kenya Airways ambayo ilikuwa inatoka hapa nchini Kenya kuelekea London United Kingdom kuweza kuokolewa na wanajeshi wa UK. Hii ni baada ya kuweza kushukiwa kwamba wenda mashambulizi fulani yalikuwa yamepangwa kuweza kufanywa kuelekea kwa hiyo ndege. Na haya yote yanatokea baada ya Rais William Samoei Ruto kuweza kuchukua msimamo na kuweza kusimama na taifa la Israel katika mapigano ambayo yanaendelea kati ya Israel pamoja na Palestine. Kama haukuku umejua ndege ya Kenya Airways ilikuwa imeokolewa habari za siku ya Alhamisi ziliweza kusema kwamba United Kingdom military intercepts Kenya Airways plane after detecting a potential threat the flight was scheduled to land at Heathrow Airport was diverted to London Stansted Airport ndege hii iliweza kuelekezwa katika uwanja wa dharura wa kuweza ku na mambo na vilipuzi pamoja na mabomu ambayo maybe yameweza kutegwa hadi sasa hivi hakuna taarifa zozote ambazo zimeweza kutolewa kuweza kuonyesha ni wapi ambapo mashambulizi haya yalikuwa yanatoka lakini nimeweza kukuelezea haya yote yanatokea baada ya Rais William Samoei Ruto kuweza kuchukua msimamo na kuweza kushikilia msimamo na kuweza kusupport taifa la Israel katika mapigano ya Israel na Palestine siku ya leo Ijumaa Marekani imeweza kutuma honyo nchini Kenya na kuweza kuwaambia raia wao waweze ku take caution kwa sababu wamekwisha pata ujumbe kwamba kuna mashambulizi fulani ambayo yanapangwa kuja kufanyika katika taifa la Kenya. Unaelewa taifa la Marekani it's an advanced country so wao wanapata ujumbe mapema. Na Marekani United Kingdom pamoja na Kenya ni miongoni mwa yale mataifa ambayo yaliweza kushikilia msimamo na kuweza kuunga Israel katika mapigano ya kupiga Palestine. Nadhani mpaka hapo tafadhali umekwisha nielewa niruhusu niweze kukupasha habari ambazo zimeweza kutolewa kuhusiana na usalama wa wakenya kwamba uende pakaweza kutokea na mashambulizi kwa hivyo take caution take kia mahala ambapo ulipo uh, uh, a hii imeweza kutolewa baada ya rais William Samoei Ruto kuweza kuunga taifa la Israel mkono katika mapigano ya kuweza kupiga kupigana na Palestine US warns its citizens in latest security alert for Kenya. Nasikia, Marekani imeweza kutuma ujumbe wa kuweza kuwaonya raia wao ambao wako hapa nchini Kenya ku take caution, kuweza kuwa ange. Na hata in fact wameweza kutoa namba ambazo wataweza kupiga, kuweza kuhitaji usaidizi iwapo pa, pa, pataweza kutokea na mashambulizi. Je, ni kitu gani ambacho Marekani inaashiria kipindi ambapo wanasema kwamba kuna mashambulizi hapa nchini? Si wangeambia tu wa Kenya, haje ndugu zetu, nyinyi wa Kenya take caution kwa sababu tumeweza kusikia fununu ya hivi kuliko kuweza kuambia raia wao peke yake. The US government has issued a travel advisory for Kenya advising specific areas in Nairobi due to increased security threats. In a statement issued on Friday, the US embassy warned Americans against visiting locations frequently frequented by US citizens and other foreigners in Nairobi and other parts of Kenya. The embassy warned that Nairobi remains an attractive target to terrorists planning to conduct imminent attacks. Nasikia, Marekani imeweza kutoa honyo kuelekea kwa taifa la Kenya aswa jijini Nairobi na kuweza kuonya raia wao na kuambia kwamba take care kwa sababu sasa hivi jinsi ambavyo tunasungumza Nairobi mashambulizi yameweza kupangwa kufanyika unanielewa mtazamaji wangu umeweza kusema kwamba Nairobi 
ni target ya wale washambulizi it further advised its citizens to stay alert in locations frequented by tourists foreigners review their security plans and be aware of their surroundings unasikia wanawaambia kwamba waji hatari zaidi kutokuwa kwenye umati aswa kwa wale watalii watu wengi ambao wameweza kukuja kama watalii mm, wale watu ambao wameweza kutoka rubaa za kimataifa unajua au watu ambao wameweza kutoka rubaa za kimataifa unakuta kwamba kuna estate ambao wanaishi kwa hivyo wameweza kuambiwa kwamba mahali ambapo wanaishi waweze kutake care nikiweza kunukuu chapisho ambalo liliweza kutoka United Nation ama eh, US Embassy Nairobi Location frequented by US citizens and other foreigners and tourists in Kenya ama Nairobi and elsewhere in Kenya continue to be attractive targets to terrorists planning to conduct potential imminent attacks. Terrorists groups could attack with little or no warning targeting hotels, embassies, restaurants, malls and market schools, police stations, places of worship and other places frequented by foreigners and tourists the statement read unasikia wanasema kwamba kuna mashambulizi in fact yanapangiliwa kuweza kufanyika katika taifa la Kenya jijini Nairobi na hivyo basi wameweza kusema kwamba watu ambao wanatembelea katika mahoteli wanatembelea katika malls a, masoko mashule police station pamoja na makanisa waweze kuchukua caution na waweze kujihatari kwa sababu wamepata taarifa e, kwamba kuna mashambulizi ambayo yanapangiwa kufanyika hmm? They were also asked to monitor local media for updates. Avoid protest, uh, protest areas and the demonstrations avoid crowds and keep low profile. Sasa ndio unauliza Marekani. Sasa hivi venye tumetulia hivi. Ni wapi kuna maandamano? Hapo penye wanasema they were also asked to monitor local media for updates, avoid protest areas and the demonstrations, Ar- avoid crowdy and keep low profile. Sasa ni wapi ambapo tuko na maandamano hapa nchini? Si Mheshimiwa Odinga aliamua kutulia. Ni wapi kuna maandamano? Marekani unajua kama wanataka kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba project yao ambayo ni William Samoei Ruto anakaa mamlakani uh, <laughs> wacha tu kuhakikisha kwamba anakaa mamlakani kiuzuri. Sisi hatuna maandamano, azimia hatuna maandamano anyway sasa hivi. Kipindi ambapo kuna maandamano Odinga anatangaza mapema. Hmm? Officials at the US embassy also provided contact information including phone numbers for its citizens to seek assistance if they encounter security threats. The alert comes amid the clashes between Israel and the Palestinian military group Hamas, claiming thousands of lives and the destruction of property. Israel claimed that Hamas launched serial attacks on its natives and foreigners who were partying at the Musk festival prompting its military to react. Unasikia embassy ya Marekani imeweza kutoa nambari ambayo maybe watu wao iwapo wataweza kupata na changamoto wataweza kuipiga iwapo wataweza kupata changamoto ya kuweza kupokea vitisho vya mashambulizi wanaweza wakapiga na haya yote yanakuja baada ya vile vita vya Israel pamoja na Palestina kuweza kuendelea ambapo mataifa haya mawili yanalaumiana kwa kuweza kuanzisha mapigano na nielewa ambapo unasikia Israel iliweza kukondem Palestina kwa kuweza kuanzisha maandamano na ni, yani mapigano kuniradi mapigano ya mashambulizi sio maandamano na unaelewa William Samoei Ruto Marekani UK ambayo ndege ya Kenya iliweza kuokolewa kule mataifa haya matatu yaliweza kusaidi ama yaliweza kuunga mkono Israeli kuweza kupiga Palestine na nielewa the conflict spread to parts of the world with protest erupting in the United Kingdom United States of America and France as different groups express the solidarity with with either Israel or Palestine unasikia katika mataifa haya makubwa makubwa kama vile United Kingdom yani United Kingdom United States of America pamoja na France unakuta kwamba kuna raia kama vile wa Palestine raia wa Israel wanaishi kule watu hawa unasikia waliweza kuandamana wakiwa wanataka mapigano haya yaweze kusitishwa Kenya was among the first country African country to condemn the war 
with President William Samiruto terming the violence method on Israel as an act of terrorism. Unasikia William Samiruto aliweza kujitokeza na kuweza kusema kwamba mashambulizi haya ambayo yanaelekezwa kuelekea kwa taifa la Israel pamoja na kutoka kwa taifa la Palestine ni ishara kwamba uh, mambo na terrorism terrorism malipuzi uh, mashambulizi yanafanyika upande wa Israel. Kwa hivyo William Zuluta akaweza kulaumu Palestine kwa kuweza kushambulia Israel. Sijui sasa umeanza kuradanisha haya mambo ambayo yanaendelea kugubika taifa la Kenya sasa hivi. Kenya joins the rest of the world in solidarity with the state of uh, Uh, Israel and uh, unequivocally condemns terrorism and attacks on uh, on innocent civilians in the country Ruto stated on October 9th. However, his position contradicted other African countries such as Algeria and Tunisia which showed support for Palestine. Nasikia mataifa mengine ya Afrika yaliweza kuunga Palestine and in fact hata yule msimamizi wa African Union bwana Musa Faki aliweza yule anaitwa nani chairman wa African Union bwana Musa Faki aliweza kusimama na akaweza kufanya nini akaweza kuunga mkono Palestine akaweza kuunga Palestine mkono and by the way do you know that Kenya it's only the country from Africa ambayo imeweza kuunga Israel mkono ha huko mataifa mengine unasikia kama vile Tunisia Tunisia pamoja na taifa gani lile taifa gani ile Tunisia pamoja na Algeria wakiunga Palestine What about ukuti ni Palestine ndina inafanya haya imeweza kuandaa haya mashambulizi ambayo ya maybe Marekani imeweza kuonya raia wao ambao wako hapa nchini kuweza kuwa makini What about upate ile ndege ambayo ilikuwa inatoka hapa nchini Kenya siku ya Alhamis kuelekea London United Kingdom eh? What about ukute kwamba hawa watu wa Palestine ndio walikuwa wameweza kuamua kuish, kuishtua kidogo Unajua sometimes let's us reason out of the box mtazamaji wangu what about ukute ni wao sema nasi na rejea mengi zaidi jina langu nafahamika kama Mr. Eagle 8